Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on Nero Platinum 15. Last week I made a YouTube video called Ullswater Steamers to Aero Force and I was contacted by a friend who wanted several images from that video and that gave me the idea for today's tutorial. So I'm going to downsize out of YouTube I'm on my desktop, I'm going to come across to Nero Platinum 15 icon and I'm going to click that. I'm going to select Nero video and click. And then going to come down to where it says make advanced movie and click. I've chosen ultra high 4K definition setting because the material that I'm working with is ultra high definition 4K material so I'm then going to click OK and I'm brought to this screen I need to come to the top right hand side click on the drop down I'm going to import files and click I'm going to select the files that I've pre-chosen to work with and I'm going to click open and they're loaded into the screen here now I'm going to click to unselect all of these videos because obviously if I click drag I'll be bringing three images in and I don't want that so I click on the screen. I can then choose the video I want to work with and it's going to be this one to start with. I click hold drag and I put it into video timeline one. And I'm going to choose the exact frame that I want to extract and to do that I'm going to go to full screen I'm going to come across and I'm going to start playing that video so I'm going to click play and when I pan to the point that I would have chosen to take a still image from which is there I stop the video I can go back by closing full screen and I come to this symbol snapshot and if I click on that symbol like that it extracts that frame and it loads it up here where the X and snapshot is written on pictures because I'm in pictures so if I click drag and bring this across to my timeline and if I played that it's playing a still image so it will just stay stationary. I'll do that in full screen so that you can see better. So I'll go full screen and I click to play and it's playing a picture which obviously will start moving once it comes off that picture. So I'm going to close full screen and so the picture's here, the picture's stored here but it's also stored on my PC and we'll look at that afterwards. So that's one image that I want. I need to uh, remove this from the timeline and I'll remove that image from the timeline. And then I'll go to videos again by clicking on videos and I'll choose another image. So I'm going to click, drag and drop into the video one timeline and I'm again going to go full screen and I'm going to play this video to the point where I want to extract an image and when the captain's finished writing his log
just going to move back a little bit because I've got the jetty coming into the shot there and I framed it just where I want. I'm going to close full screen and I'm going to extract that image. So again I come to camera, I click snapshot and the snapshot is here. So I'm then going to remove this from track and I'm going to go to video and I'm going to look for the final image and I'm going to drag that into video one and this was a video that I took uh, on one day around the area of Glen Ridding. Actually it was uh, a place called Pool, uh, Pooley Bridge and if I go full screen and I'll play this video but if you notice I'm going to zoom in on this area on my camera and that in a distance is a red deer so I'm going to click to play it's quite amazing how much you can zoom in on these modern video cameras but the problem is not having my tripod set up because I'd seen this red deer and hadn't got time to get set up properly I was having to hold the video camera by hand and with being zoomed in so far it tends to play, play the video very jerkily obviously but there's a frame in this video that I particularly like and it's where this red deer looks directly at the camera and it'll do that shortly I hope There it is, but I've got a duck here, but its head's down in the water, and I'd rather have the duck with its head out of the water. So if I just play around, around this part of the video, I should be able to, no, I should be able to find when the duck has got its head out of the water. There. Ah, no. Somewhere around. Ah, there we are. I had it. There. So, and that shot would be extremely difficult to capture on a still camera. But the advantage of video allows me the opportunity to get the exact shot that I want and because it's in such high resolution I'm able to get a high quality image so I'm going to downsize from full screen I'm going to come to where it says snapshot and I'm going to click and magically we have the image stored here so I want now to send these images to my friend and so I need to find them on my computer so I'm going to minimize out of this screen I'm going to come down to my file explorer and click I'm going to come up to this PC and I'm going to click on the drop down I'm going to choose pictures because that is where I know Nero stores these images. There are the three files snapshot 2, 3 and 4 so I'm going to click on snapshot 2 and that's the image that we have chosen looking towards Glen Ridding across Ullswater. That's the image of Lady Dorothy setting off from the jetty at Glen Ridding and there we have the duck and the red deer at Pooley Bridge or the river that's flowing out of Ullswater at 
Holy Bridge. So I'm going to exit out of there and there you have it. You have three files that you can do whatever you want with. I loaded them onto my OneDrive and sent them through Outlook to my friend. And, but what you do with them is up to you. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you next time and thank you for watching. Bye for now.